What is going on everybody and welcome to a slightly different kind of video. Today I thought instead of some gameplay we're gonna try and do something a little bit different which is to kind of chronicle my collection a little bit and what I mean by that is specifically look at some of the things that I have added to my collection this week. We're gonna try and do this on maybe a weekly basis just kind of see what kinds of things we add to the table and talk about the collection as we go through a little bit and why I collect, how I collect, those kinds of things. Now, as some of you probably know, uh, I am a pretty avid collector of Magic the Gathering. I really love the, the game as a whole. Collecting is truly where my passion is, I think more so than even gameplay, despite doing gameplay every day. Uh, collection is really the big part of this for me, and I've been collecting since I was just a little kid. Now, since then, I've sold out twice. I've paid for college classes with my collections before, and so it's been a long time, but over the last, I don't know, say five to eight years, somewhere in that time frame, I've basically been steadily collecting cards from every set that I can and just adding to the, the repertoire of cards that I have. Now, to be very clear, there's some specifics about the way I collect that I do want to talk about before we actually take a look at the cards that I've picked up this week. First and foremost, my goal is to actually get one of every card in the set. I am a set collector, and what I mean by that is I go back as far back as I can, all the way back to revised era style cards, uh, and try and get one of every set. Now, some of that is much more viable than others, and some of that I can do very easily, and some of it I can't, uh, and so it's gonna take a, a long time to really get there. Now, along with that, I am also a sucker for promos, which I didn't pick any up this week, but in general, I try and pick those up if I see them, just stuff that I really like, some unique cards that not everybody has in their collection, like uh, textless full art, you know, game day promos, things like that. I also want to start collecting things like signed cards and graded magic, uh, which I do have a little bit of graded stuff, but nothing too crazy. Uh, additionally, I do actually try and pick up some sealed product from time to time uh, and keep it in my collection. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a sucker for opening it up at some point down the line, but I'm trying very hard not to this time around and keep it in the collection as a sealed product just to keep that value up. So with that in mind, guys, we can actually start in on some of the singles that we have picked up this week, and then we're going to jump into some of the sealed product as well. To start us off here, I am actually trying to finish my Kamigawa Neon Dynasty full set. I'm actually only a few cards short, and I have the rest on the way, so we'll probably see those next week. However, uh, a couple of cards did come in this week, and we'll talk about those one by one. Uh, we do have a beautiful Nashi Moon Sage's Scion. This is actually one of my favorite mono black cards from the set. Uh, absolutely awesome Rat Ninja 3-2 with that, that ninjutsu mechanic. Obviously not a huge value card, really. Uh, it's not a bad card, but any standard cards are always going to have like temporary value, if that makes sense. Uh, and so these are pretty easy pickups. Now, generally, I would say if you are collecting full sets of a standard set, wait for it to rotate out. Uh, you're going to find that the prices are going to drop pretty significantly. Uh, but for me, I'm so close. I've opened up a good bit of the product. I only needed a handful of cards, so Nashi was one of those. The other one we actually have from Kamigawa uh, is a beautiful foil at Sushi the Blazing Sky. This is one of the dragons that I'm missing. Uh, I believe the green one is the other one, which is on the way. Uh, and I absolutely love the fact that this was foil. In fact, uh, the way I've been kind of tracking this collection has been through mtgcollectionbuilder.com, uh, and I'm like 99% of the way through with the set, but uh, you can actually go through their buying list and uh, it'll send you over to TCG Player and say, hey, do you want to complete this set? And I did. Uh, and it turns out they automatically put a foil at Sushi in my cart versus a, uh, a regular one, which was kind of a surprise when I opened it up, but I'm actually really happy with that uh, because, again, it's just a beautiful foil, and the foils really nowadays for standard sets are not that hard to get, so uh, just a cool card to have. Moving on to a couple of older sets. There really aren't too many singles that I've picked up this week, but uh, we do have from Future Sight the original Slaughter Pact. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is not actually a card that sees a ton of play, if I'm not mistaken anymore, mostly because Modern has kind of taken a deep dive down, but uh, I am very near completing my Future Sight set, and so I thought, hey, let's go ahead, let's pick up a Slaughter Pact, let's get this one done, um, and so there should be a few other Future Sight cards coming along. Uh, I believe I actually got this from Cardsphere.com. Uh, which I do use occasionally. Um, Cardsphere, they used to sponsor us. They're a really nice group of people and they're really good at what they do. Uh, and so it's a nice service to be able to go through them, add some cards to your want list, uh, and then just kind of see what you get. It's actually pretty fun. 
Uh, I do that every once in a while. Uh, Slaughter Pact definitely came from there, as well as our next card, and I'm actually really happy with it. Again, it's in decent condition, uh, not too bad at all. Got a little bit of a nick there, but uh, in particular, I'm just trying to finish out the set, so it was kind of a nice pickup there. And our final single for today is actually uh, all the way back from Chronicles, uh, Dakon Blackblade. Uh, I'm a sucker for these old school white border legends. Uh, they have very little value actually in comparison to the original black border legends. However, uh, Chronicles is actually one of my favorite sets. And again, I'm very near completion of it. I've only got like two or three more cards left uh, to, to pick up to actually finish the full set. Uh, and so I'm actually really happy to pick this one up. This is one of my favorites of the Legends, mostly for that beautiful artwork. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, and again, this was actually a card sphere pickup. So I had this on my want list uh, and just got notified the other week that, hey, you're, you're going to be sent this card. And I was so stoked again, just mostly because of the art. The value isn't necessarily high with this at all. Uh, it's just a really cool card, in my opinion. I would love to pick up an actual Black Border Legends version, so I will be on the lookout for that. Uh, but I haven't really started in on Legends yet, just because the, the price is so high. Uh, however, I would like to pick that up. I think that's going to be a really fun one. And uh, again, I, again, a great card to add to the collection. I just love it. All right, guys, now we are going to jump into some sealed product, uh, and I'm actually going to take two things off the plate right away. We got two bundles here. So one is a Crimson Vow bundle, uh, which isn't super exciting, but uh, I've, I've got like substantially more cards missing from that set than I thought I would. And so I thought I'd pick up a bundle. One of the things that I like to do is actually sit down and open these up with friends and do like our own little, you know, two player sealed thing. Uh, and it's actually really fun. And so picking up bundles are great for that, especially now with the, the set boosters, eight packs in it. You can really do a lot with them. So I did pick up one of those, and I also did pick up a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This one I may actually keep sealed, uh, just because I think this set is really, really good. Uh, and I'm kind of interested to see which direction it goes. But I thought I would pick up a couple of bundles here today uh, and, and show you guys because, again, I do kind of want to keep that sealed collection going. I'm debating on if I want to open those up and do those kinds of, you know, two-player sealed tournaments or whatever you want to call it. They're really fun to do, but I just haven't been able to do them lately because I don't get to see people very often. And so, uh, regardless, I love adding bundles to the collection. I'd like to kind of go back further and further and start picking up more of those. Uh, but all in all, very excited to have these in the collection. And finally, guys, we come to probably the most exciting part of this video, uh, which are the packs that I have picked up uh, and added to my collection this week. Um, I've actually put a lot of packs on order because I do want to get uh, a substantial you know, subset of, of sets uh, picked up in sealed packs just so that I can hold on to because not only does the value go up on them, so it's just a nice addition to the collection, but if I ever want to do a cool little pack opening video, something a little bit more unique that I'm not able to do on a regular basis, it'd be nice to just have a back stock ready to go that I can pull from and hopefully add to and, uh, you know, do some cool videos on or maybe do some giveaways for you guys. So we're going to run through these. Uh, first up, we've got two guild pack packs <laughs> uh, from my favorite block, Original Ravnica. I absolutely love these uh, beautiful, beautiful cards uh, in these sets. And again, I just absolutely love Guild Pack. I would like to pick up some OG Ravnica packs. Uh, I do not have any of those on order yet, uh, but trust me, they will be. Uh, and again, I'm only picking up a couple of each for the most part because uh, prices are relatively high for these. So what I'd like to do is kind of slowly accrue a lot of these over time. Uh, the way I actually pick these is kind of funny as we go into our next little grouping here. Uh, we've got four Nemesis packs. Uh, absolutely beautiful set. Uh, the way I actually pick these is I go to Scryfall. Uh, this is kind of silly, but a peek behind the curtain. I go to Scryfall, I, uh, I click random at the top right and see what set comes up. And if it's a pack that I can afford, I buy it. <laughs> uh, and that's it. That's the whole purpose of it. Uh, and it's actually kind of fun because, again, you never really know what you get. I love the random aspect, which is part of why I love Card Sphere for singles so much. Yeah, you get to pick your want list, but you don't know what people are going to have. And so uh, it is kind of fun to go through that. Um, next, we have got two Judgment Packs. Uh, again, beautiful artwork in this set as well. I love these older sets. I just think they're so fun to have and so fun to open. Uh, and so I, I am excited. I don't think I'm going to open these anytime soon. But again, it's just nice to have them in the collection. I love the uh, the expert uh, it, from the days of old where you had uh, beginner, uh, expert, and advanced, I think is what it is. Yeah, 
Uh, just absolutely hilarious. But uh, again, beautiful packs, beautiful art. And then finally, this is the last that we have added to the collection. We've got a couple of OG Modern Masters packs. Uh, Modern Masters, notoriously one of the best uh, modern sets that we have seen. And while, yes, Modern has taken a turn in terms of a format uh, towards not really being all that popular anymore, it's still my favorite format uh, in terms of Constructed. Uh, and so I really like playing it. I love picking up these booster packs because there is just a lot of value in them. Uh, and they're just beautiful cards. Dark Confidant, one of my favorite artworks uh, from the set and just a beautiful card as well. Um, I do have four of them, but if I open up another at some point down the line, I'll be very happy. So that's all the packs we have added. That's everything, in fact, that we have added to our collection over the last week, guys. Uh, we've got more coming. Do not worry. Uh, I would like to again kind of make this a regular thing and hopefully go through some of the things that we pick up each week uh not necessarily open a bunch of stuff i hope that's okay uh if you guys do want to see some openings of course we can do that as well but i think importantly it's just kind of cool to see what we get uh and adding to the collection and seeing how it all fits into to the bigger picture of the collection uh and so for me that's really fun but Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Does this series do something for you? Do you enjoy it? Give me some comments down below. I really would enjoy it. If you did like this video, make sure you click that little thumbs up. It would mean a lot. And of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe as well. That would really help out and uh, mean a lot to me. So guys, thank you so much. This has been a really unique experience, something I'd like to do more of, but I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you again very soon.